Hey, what's going on everyone? John Shea here. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a viral tag review. This is a social media marketing tool that's made for sharing visuals and allowing you to connect multiple social media accounts. So you can um, basically collaborate with your teams. Um, you could recycle evergreen content, you know, things maybe that you would have posted in the past and you're able to analyze performance based on some of the things being shared. So um, I was able to get a um, demo account of this software and I wanted to break down kind of what's inside here. So I'm going to quickly go through the home page and then I'm going to show you inside the tool and uh, just give you some ideas of what to expect for this. This is going to be a really, really good tool if you're going to be doing anything with social media. Maybe you're um, looking to automate like posting on Facebook fan pages, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. You know, that's really where this is going to come into play and um, sort of automate some of that for you and be able to recycle some, uh, some of your old content. So you can schedule stuff. Um, you know, ahead of time. And again, it works with Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. Um, you can upload, edit, and schedule all of your posts in bulk. So if you had a bunch of stuff that you wanted to do, you could actually have this all go up and um, automatically post across multiple accounts. So really, really slick, similar to like Hootsuite or some of these others, but in my opinion, a little bit more um, kind of polished. You can uh, create unique posts. So, you know, no more uploading, as they say, no more uploading of the same image or caption. You can customize the message, the image dimensions for each social network all in one um, go. So you don't necessarily need to be like editing the image so it works um, across different networks. Um, they have a lot of content curation, so you can actually tap into tools like Canva, which is an awesome photo editing tool. You can make changes to the images with their built-in editor, and you can even add RSS feeds if you want to curate content across um, different networks through, say, like Flickr. Uh, you can also recycle your content. Um, this is another really cool one. I know um, tools like Meet Edgar are really big about doing things like this. So this is probably where the viral tag comes in as a really good competitor. Uh, this allows you to uh, basically take older content and, you know, kind of come back and reshare that at a later time. So you're able to kind of recycle some of that old stuff. You can also collaborate and create like a social media plan through a shared calendar. So you can add multiple users and allow them to come in and um, you can see a calendar of when things are going live and everybody can collaborate on that together. And you can also measure success. You can see how many, uh, how much is actually going on. You can get reports and just kind of get a really good idea of what's going on across all your accounts. They even have a Chrome extension, so you can pick images from different sites. I've not installed that, so I'm, I probably won't be showing you that in this, but fairly straightforward, you know, scheduling pins, repinning from Pinterest, scheduling videos from YouTube, Vimeo, Daily Motion, And uh, I think that's a nice little caveat some of the other tools don't necessarily have, uh, especially being able to pick images from specific sites and just being able to schedule them in bulk um, so you can very quickly get that stuff shared on your social networks. So I've actually got a separate browser window open and I wanted to bring you inside. Um, first thing I noticed with this platform is that it's really um, very nicely polished. It looks very professional. I really like the layout. It's easy to navigate and kind of learn how everything works. Uh, if I hit the plus, I can add um, a new post to one of my uh, networks. I've currently connected a music Facebook fan page that I have on the platform. So if I wanted to upload something, I have the ability to upload from like Facebook, Dropbox, Image Search, Flickr, uh, Google Drive, and Instagram. So let's just say um, we wanted to select something from my computer. I could go through and grab stuff. Uh, I don't have anything now, so I'm not going to do a, a real example post, but you can see here that I could put in uh, the specific URL of what I'm going to be sharing. And you can also choose to make it evergreen. So this would mean that it's going to be able to get recycled. You can also create categories. So maybe I want to add like a category for this page, like music or whatever. You can clone the post. And then from here, you can schedule it or add it to a queue. Um, you can also save it as a draft or post it right now. So pretty slick, um, fairly straightforward. And as you do some of these things, you can see if it ends up in drafts, recent, evergreen, um, anything that maybe didn't post for some reason had an issue. And you can also look at your schedule. So here's that content calendar that I talked about. I have all the different recommended times of when you can actually go and uh, post. And if we go to explore, you can actually find popular images of things that are kind of going on right now. You can see here I can sort by different things. So if I wanted to do like fun and humor, I could go through and find popular images that are in the fun and humor category, and I could go take these and go republish them. So you've got lots of images. Again, you can search. You know, maybe if I do something like meme, just see if this works. I haven't really 
played around with it. So I got a couple memes, nothing too crazy here. Um, but it looks like it's fairly basic in terms of the search. It looks like it's loading some more or trying to. So there we go. It's finding some more stuff. And we could go take these and go share them on your own social networks. You can also go into design and um, they give you the, here's the Canva capabilities. So let's just say we want to design the perfect post with Facebook. If I click on this, it's actually going to bring in Canva. So it's overlaying the Canva interface right over this. And if I go in here and you know, here I bring in this image and I can start editing the elements. You know, this is text. And you can essentially, this is giving me a perfect post size for Canva. I don't necessarily need to go to Canva separately. You can see it already gave me Facebook posts, Untitled Design. So very nicely integrated with Canva. And if I go and hit publish, let's publish. Um, I'm going to do got it. I don't care about the watermarks. Oh, so this image is actually a stock image, so it wants me to purchase it. Um, so that's why that's giving me some issue there. But you kind of get the idea. I can go in. Um, obviously, you want to use the free stuff. Um, you also have your feeds if you want to connect different feeds. Here's where I can do that. You can do Etsy, Pinterest, Instagram, Flickr. You can also add manually by adding in specific feed URLs. So that might give you, if you want to like reshare content from other blogs, you could do that here and um, maybe edit it and change it on your own site. So that's really good for like curation. In circles, let's see what we have here. You've actually got different circles where you can join groups. So sports bloggers, lifestyle, fashion, kids and parenting, and animals, pets. So you've got all these different groups. Um, and this is something where you can sort of collaborate with other people. So pretty cool. You can come in, you know, if I wanted to join animals and pets, and hit join. And I'll say I'm done. Now I'm going to be um, basically in this group, and you can see all these different things. These are all pet-related images, like this floating cat. Um, pretty funny stuff. So in terms of reporting, I haven't um, started playing around with the actual posting functionality, but if you were to start posting, you're going to be able to see what's going on in terms of like traffic and get like a good analysis of all the different things going on. It's taking a little bit of time to load. I don't actually have a whole ton of data in here yet, but um, let's see. So I can see analytics on here's my fan page, Metalcore Kingdom. I'm guessing that'll just take a little bit of time to load, but generally the tool is pretty straightforward. You can also add team members up here. Open this as a separate. Let's see if I can open this as a separate. Okay, so I can add in new team members, and you can make them either editors or contributors. So that's really cool. I like that. And uh, your billing, as well as your main profile information. I've got my email there. Um, Categories, you can add um, any extensions. Here's that Chrome extension. If you want to add that in, that's where you would find it. And you've also got some different integrations. They have like UTM tracking. If you want to do Google Analytics tracking to share you know, where some of your traffic is coming from. Rebrandly, which allows you to create like short links. You can do that as well as Bitly, which is pretty much the same thing. And you can also configure your notifications so you can get weekly reports on what's going on with your social media. So. I would say this tool is definitely for people that are going to be managing multiple pages. Even if you're doing this for yourself, maybe you've got a fan page or a blog, something that you're working on. I know myself, I've got a, a site that's in the um, pet niche. And if I wanted to be able to post to like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, all those different places, I could do that all from this tool and I can integrate as many as I want and specifically select all of those. So it's pretty cool. Um, I definitely think it, it's a little bit um, above some of the other tools in terms of capabilities that are uh, sort of competitors to this. So I would say um, if you're interested in checking this out, what I'm actually going to do is leave a special code um, below this video or somewhere in the resources for this video. You're going to be able to get a code that's going to give you two months 100% for free. So you do not need to pay for those first two months. You're actually going to get a free two-month trial with my special code. I actually... Um, I'm going to have that code by the time I publish the video. So just make sure to check below the video, use that code, and you're going to get uh, two free months. I definitely think it's worth trying out, especially for such an extended trial, you know, 60 days to try this thing out, um, get it going, and um, you know, I think you'll get a lot of benefit out of this. So again, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my viral tag review.